Hi, Jennifer LaHaye here with Why Dyslexia is Not a Dirty Word. So I'm in Orlando, Florida. I wish you could see the palm trees around me. But I made a new friend today. This is Dr. James O'Leary. Now, Dr. James O'Leary is a very interesting man. We kind of just ran into each other. And he started talking about his personal life story. And I want to start with James first. What did you do professionally? Uh, professionally, I was a obstetrician and gynecologist, but uh, primarily an obstetrician who uh, focused on high-risk pregnancies and pregnancies where women had pre-existing pregnancy problems. I did this uh, primarily in uh, university teaching hospitals and continued that right up until age 65 when I uh, retired and moved down here with all the palm trees. With all the palm trees. But James has an interesting story. So James, can you tell us a little bit about what happened when you were 60 years old or what kind of came to light for you that you shared with me earlier? When I was 60 years old, I um, made an acquaintance with a neighbor and after a three hour dinner together, she uh, recognized that I had a process called uh, Asperger's or high functioning autism. And then when we followed through with that, we uh, discovered that there was a family history of that plus uh, dyslexia. And as a result of that, in the next 20 years, life uh, dramatically changed from uh, many, many frustrations to actually appreciating what all these uh, comorbidities were doing to me. And what really occurred as an end result was I totally accepted my diagnoses. Um, it made me feel much, much better to know what was wrong, what had happened, and what I could do about it. Mm -hmm. And so in the past 20 years, I have uh, embraced the diagnosis and I would have to say embraced it with passion. And I'm very willing to share my experiences so that perhaps other uh, adults with children with any of these problems might be able to avoid some of the issues that I have encountered. I think it's so inspiring that James is, I'm gonna tell how old you are, 80 years young, and he's coming to the conference to learn more about dyslexia, and then having all this huge diagnosis and information coming to you at the age of 60. It's never too late, is it, James? No, no, I'm continuing to learn. I wish I could learn more, but when you learn so much about the assisted technology, unless you're using it on a daily basis, it uh, slips away, and you can quote me on that one. <laughs> but James is a very interesting man. I wanted you to see how he's had a very successful career. He's still moving forward. He's still learning. He's embracing not only his dyslexia diagnosis, but also his Asperger's diagnosis. And you felt like that's been kind of a strength in your field. Is that correct, James? Well, it, it definitely was. And there's a few other comorbidities that uh, <laughs> we don't nearly read to get into. But uh, I think I should warn parents of a child with uh, any one of these disorders that mm -hmm. it rarely occurs on its own. And there are usually even one, two or more comorbidities that need to be searched out. I think that's great information and great tips. So not only is he dyslexic, he's got Asperger's, but he's also a doctor and he taught the doctors, right? Yes, I did. What was the word you called it? Academician. Now look that up, boys and girls. That will impress your friends and neighbors. James, <laughs> Dr. James O'Leary, thanks for, thanks for talking with and Dr. James O'Leary, that's why dyslexia is not a dirty word. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for you. your time. Thank you. Bye.